Hi friends, welcome to Java Coding Interview Questions. So in this video, we will see how to count or how to find number of words in a string in Java. Okay, suppose if we take a string like welcome to Java world. Okay, if we take this welcome to Java world, so if we have to split this string, okay, if you have to find the number of words, what we need to do? We need to split this uh, sentence or a string by spaces, then you will get the number of words in a particular string. Okay, so the answer is four. So how are you saying that? Okay, the number of words are four by splitting by space. Okay, by splitting by space, okay, we are saying that there are total number of words are four. But if you see, if we split by space, one, two, three, but there are only three spaces. Then how are we getting four words? Okay. So first we'll build a logic and we'll try to understand the logic. So it will be easy for us while writing a program. So the thing is, if the first character, okay, if the first character of the particular string is not an empty space and it has some character or a letter we consider as count as one count equal to one suppose if the first character in the string okay is not a space in that case and uh, it has some letter in it then we call it as an word okay so now the first here will become count will be one and after that what we need to do we need to split this string by spaces so when we split this string by spaces what will be happening so whenever a space comes we consider that as okay whenever a space comes till that space we can consider it as one so here already we have a count equal to one and the second one count here it will be two and here the count will be three and here count will be four okay so I'll explain you the program and at the same time I'll debug the program and show you the output as well. So let's write the program. So I'm creating a new class and I'm saying count words demo. I'm naming it as count words demo and then i am creating a main method so in this main method what i am doing is first i am taking a string okay string input from keyboard or from the eclipse console so how do i do that by creating a scanner object so scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot in So by creating a scanner object, so we can create, okay, we can get the input from the keyboard. Okay, so here I am entering system.out.println, enter string. Okay, and then so whatever the input, okay. I take from this console so whatever the input I take from the console I'll store it in a variable so string s equal to sc dot next line so when I say sc dot next line so whatever the string we have entered in the console or key by using the keyboard that gets stored in this variable string s now what I am doing is so now we'll come to the actual logic. So what is the actual logic? We'll write a method and we'll put all the actual logic in that method. So count number of words. So this is the method which I'm going to use. And I'm passing the string s to this method. Okay, so why I'm getting the compilation error? Because I just declared the method, but I didn't create any method for this. So just say quick fix and it will create a method for you. So now I'm going to 
write the logic by using this method okay so let's take an variable called count and initialize it with zero so at the starting of the okay at the starting of the method processing take a variable as count and uh, initialize it to the zero so now what we need to do is as we discussed okay the first letter okay the first character of the string is not empty we should consider it as word right so if you see here the first character is not empty we can consider this as word okay so what i'll do is we have a method okay in the string class which is char at method so what this caret method will do so it will find the character at the particular index so when i say if s dot char at of zero not equals to empty okay empty or i can give like this empty increment the count so now the count will be one suppose if we take the same string okay let me check what is the uh, compilation arrow here if s dot char at zero invalid character constant okay like this we need to give so here this is considered as a space so if it is the first character is not space we need to consider this as a count as one so the count will be one so what is the next logic we need to split the string by spaces okay so whenever we encounter the space what we need to do we need to increment this count by one so i mean suppose if the uh, for that what we need to do we need to split the string okay and we need to find no need of uh, splitting the string what we can do is check at each character of the string whether there is space or not if there is space what we need to do we need to increment the count by one so starting with this okay what we'll do uh, we'll check whether uh, the caret of i so caret zero is space or not it is not space so we'll increment and we'll check this character and we'll check this character and we'll come till here and here we have encountered a space so now we are incrementing count one to count plus plus so one plus count plus plus will become now two now again we'll check whether char at is space or not it is not space okay and at the same time here as well and finally we'll come here and we encountered a space and we'll increment the count to three and then we'll check for the other and finally we'll come here and we encounter the space and finally the count will be four okay so the logic for the first one is done now what we are going to do is i'm writing a separate for loop okay which starts with i equal to zero i less than s dot length i plus plus okay if s dot char at i okay if s dot char at i equal to equal to space and s dot char at i plus 1 not equal to space then we can increment the variable of count to count plus plus we can say count plus plus okay suppose if we see here so what we need to do we need to check the space and after the space there should be a character okay in that case we say uh, okay there is a word so we are saying count plus plus and then finally we are going to return count i'm just i'm just saying int count equal to okay so, but here we have defined void and we are not returning so that is the reason we are getting the compilation error finally at the end of the method what we are going to do we are going to return the count okay whatever the count we have we are going to return at the end of the method 
let's see what is the compilation error uh, written byte expected uh, sorry so if you see this is the method declaration I have defined the written outside so that is the reason we got the compilation error so I'm just moving a one line inside okay and now see what is the compilation error void method cannot return a value so here what we need to do we need to make it as integer or int anything is fine okay finally we'll get the count let's print the count as well system dot count out dot println count equals to just print the value in the count or we can say like this number of words in string is equals to just give the count okay let's run the program and see the output so what is the first sysout it is enter string okay i have given the empty space so that is the reason we got this we'll handle that and let's run the program i am saying welcome to java world so what is the number of words in the string four again run the program i am saying i am new to java and learning java so if you see so what are the total number of words in this sentence or string one two three four five six seven if you enter you should get the number of words in the string is equal to seven okay uh, earlier we have seen one issue right what is the issue here so when i click enter we are getting an exception why are we getting this exception string index out of bound or out of range is equals to zero okay since we haven't entered any string we are getting this exception okay hope you understand what is this uh, how to enter the string from the keyboard and how to find the number of words in the string okay if you want i can put a debug here and show you the output as well so enter the string so welcome to java world so whenever i enter welcome to the java world we'll get the debug point till here so first what we are checking s dot car at s at s dot caret of zero not equal to empty so what is the s dot caret zero first s dot character at zero the position is what w if you want you can see here it is w since the first character is not space what we are doing we are incrementing the count to the one initially count is zero now the count will be one so this will be done now what we are doing okay starting with i equal to 0 we are iterating through the each character in the string so till we encounter the space we are iterating and once we encounter the space we are incrementing the count to count plus plus okay so you can see here i am just putting the debug point inside so whenever the car at i equal to empty this count will get incremented So if you see here, I'm just doing F8. Okay, now it got inside. So if you see S dot car at I, at which position we are getting empty. So I'm just saying watch S dot car at I. So I is what? 7. So at 7th place, we are getting empty okay at that time what we are doing we are incrementing the count okay so hope you understand this seventh position so starting with 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 seventh position we got space at that time we are incrementing the count again at eighth ninth at tenth position okay it it will come into this loop okay if you want i can show you that as well so if you see here at i equal to 10th position so this count got incremented why because it has space over there and after the space there should not be any 
empty space okay hope you understand this video thanks for watching this video if you like my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you